still pending. That is the status of the confirmation of Acting State Police Superintendent William Palazzi. The Senate Executive Nominations Committee is holding up the process based on new questions regarding the nominee's background. 11 News I-Team reporter David Collins joins us live from the newsroom with that story. David. Well, Donna, that's about all the committee will confirm. They got an anonymous email two weeks ago pleading with members to thoroughly investigate William Palazzi. The emailer raised questions about everything from his overall experience with state police to his accomplishments. Uh, our transition team continues to make great progress. The confirmation of Governor Hogan's choice to run the Maryland State Police was put on hold in part because of this anonymous email sent to news organizations and the Senate Executive Nominations Committee. The emailer pleads, the appointment of Colonel William Palazzi must be challenged. Questions must be answered. The four-page letter questions Palazzi's overall experience with the state police. The writer takes issue with the governor's portrayal of him as advancing through the ranks. The emailer asks the committee to look into the colonel's list of accomplishments. The letter cites procurement and other issues. The email questions the validity of awards the colonel may have received in the course of his state police career and whether he got special treatment. Last week, the Senate panel made Palazzi aware of the email. Committee Chair Senator Jamie Raskin dismissed the letter, proclaiming it had no credibility because it was not signed. The Senate Executive Nominations Committee meets tonight. William Palazzi's name is not on the roster. This meeting is reserved for questioning other nominees. As one source put it, the panel has no more questions for Mr. Palazzi. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.